My name is Zezu Pitts. I've got a secret. Do you think you can guess what it is? Marriage Cream Deodorant. The deodorant that is 53% more effective in keeping underarms dry and odorless presents... I've Got a Secret, starring Gary Moore. do this. I'm not used to it, you know. <laughs> thanks, thanks very much, and hello again to you out there. Anybody still up? I want you to stick around because we are followed by the news, which is followed by the late show starring Charlie Chan, which is followed by the late, late show starring Charlie Chan, <laughs> which is followed by the late, late, late show starring Mae Bush. Charlie Chan got tired and went to bed. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's another edition of I've Got a Secret, which is the new game that brings out the awful truth about some very nice people just for fun. Tonight, we have some information about some interesting folks and their private lives, secrets which they're going to try to keep from our panel. And now I would like you to meet our panel, of whom I am very proud. First of all, the young man who is the MC of his own quiz show, Winner Take All, Mr. Bill Cullen, and then the lovely motion picture and television actress, Miss Jane Meadows, then England's answer to people who make sense, Mr. Melville Cooper, <laughs> and our bright star of movies and television, Miss Lorraine Day. That is our panel. <laughs> now, in just a moment, I'm going to introduce our first... We are completely ready to play I've Got a Secret. How about you, panel? You ready to go? Sure. Ready? All right, now, let's welcome then our first contestant to I've Got a Secret. Would you come in, sir, please? <laughs> now, sir, would you tell us, please, what your name is and where you are from? My name is Douglas Ward from uh, Orange, New Jersey. Douglas Ward of Orange, New Jersey. Now, panel, it's going to be up to you to uncover Mr. Ward's secret. Here's how we play the game. Each panelist will get two questioning periods of 15 seconds each. But the clock will only time the actual questions. In other words, we take time out for our audience to uh, uh, have reaction and for their discussion. Now, when a panelist's time is up, he will hear this sound. And I will pay our guest $10 and then turn the game over to the next panelist. Twice around the panel for a total loss of $80 and the game is over. Now then, Mr. Ward, if you will whisper your secret to me, we will reveal it at the same time to our viewers at home. <laughs> that applause should seem to indicate something. I'm not quite sure just what. I'll tell you what we will do. Panel, to help you classify this secret, I will tell you that it begins with the word I, and it concerns something that Mr. Ward was. Now then, we will start our questioning with Miss Lorraine Day. Thank you, Gary. Mr. Uh, Ward, this thing that you were, uh, were you this as a child? No. Uh, in the last 10 years, were you this? No. Uh, in between the last 10 years yes. and the time you were a child, uh, this thing that you were, um, did it have anything to do with politics? No. No. Did it have anything to do with entertainment? No. Anything to do with uh, an award or a scholarship? Uh, uh, education? Award, uh, education? Had it to do with education? Uh, I think we would have to say uh, yes in one sense. Yes. Yes. All right, $10 down and $70 to go. Mr. Bill Cullen. Uh This thing that had to do with education, Mr. Ward, uh, did it have to do with your college days? Yes. Is it something uh, that everybody would be likely to have known about then? I mean, was it a very well-known thing that you were? No, no, I don't think so. No. No. Uh, were you proud of it? Yes. Uh, did it have to do with the actual schooling? I mean, with the actual classroom work or anything like that? No. Athletics? No. Social uh, activities? Mm, yes. I suppose we have to say yes. yes. I yes, all right, there's $20 member... down and $60 to go. Yes, uh, Bill? What is well, I thought maybe he was a member of a sorority. That's why I was... Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, please. <laughs> Not quite, no. All right, the questioning now goes to Miss Jane Meadows. Ms. Mr. Meadows? Ward, this thing that you were, were you it more than once? Yes. You were it more than once. Were you it over a period of time? Over a period of years? Yes, yes, yes. Over yes. a period of years. 
Well, would how it, many years do you mean? Well, would it be in your college years that you were this thing? Yes. It would be. Yes. Um, and you say it was something in the social line. Yes. Would it be something in, if it wasn't sports, would it be something that you did in relationship to the opposite sex? No, no, no. No? no it no. was just something that you did with your student members, the boys in your school. Yes. Oh, now, the, now, the well. secret does not specifically mention student members. It doesn't. No. Is it a title of any kind that no. you had? No. <laughs> I must say, in case I have misled you, uh, panel, let me say it does not in, uh, relate, the secret does not relate to uh, student members, but I did not say that it does not relate to a student member. $30 down and $50 to go. I've given away quite a bit, but I couldn't help it. Yeah. No, oh, that, yeah, um, me, uh, no, oh, cool. well, this is way out of my uh, school uh, depth thing, this is. But uh, it was something that, uh, uh, Mr. Ward, when you were at college, uh, you were the head of a, a certain society or certain members of, of the college or anything to do with that, was it? No, no. Nothing to do with it. No. <laughs> Nothing at all. Huh? Well, now we know, don't we? I'm mean, <laughs> not quite sure what we know, oh, but I'm no, sure no, we know it. It's quite obvious now. Isn't it? <laughs> And it was nothing to do with athletics? Was it, to, it was nothing to do with the scholastic thing? Nothing to do with the social side? Social. Ah. Oh. Social? Was it social? Well, we would have to say it was social in the broad application and as much as it had nothing to do with schooling or with athletics. Well, it was something to do with the entertainment of, of college? Uh, college life? And do with entertainment? Yes. College life. Well, I... It had to do with college life. Forty dollars down, forty dollars to go. Panel, we are on our last go-round. Each of you has one more questioning period. L Miss Lorraine Day. Well, Mr. Ward, would you uh, say that uh, being a cheerleader would have anything to do with athletics? No. Uh, would it be something like being a cheerleader? No. 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 This thing that you were, were you appointed? No. Did you win it? No. Uh, did you uh, earn it? No. Were you born it? <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, no. Were you no. an advisor of any kind? There we go. There is $50 down and $30 to go. Now we go to Bill Cullen. Bill? From what I've heard, are you sure you were this, Mr. Ward, so far? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm going to take a, a whole new tack. Uh, the person, uh, it says, it, it, you said he, it didn't concern the whole, don't count me on this now, wrong, uh, time-wise. It didn't concern the entire student body, but it might have concerned one. Did it concern one other student? Yes, Mr. Cullen. Is that one other student now famous? Yes. Is he in show business? No. Was it a he? Yes. Is he in politics? Yes. Is he a Republican? No. Democrat? Yes. Stevenson? Yes. Uh, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There are $20 to go. We have to find out what his relations, Mr. Ward's relationship was to Governor Stevenson in college. Uh, and we also have to find out the college. Miss Meadows. Oi. Ward. Mr. Ward, uh, is it uh, something more complicated than you were just a classmate? Slightly. Well, a little more. I should say yes. Is it that you sat next to him? No. Oh. Were you his roommate? Uh, yes. Oh. Now. Hold it, panel. Where? At what college? Mr. Ward, his secret is, I was uh, Adlai Stevenson's roommate at. Was it an Eastern college? Yes. Was it a large college? Such yes. as Harvard or Yale or Princeton? Yes. Well, it was... Wait a minute, I was... I'm being tough on you. It was such a college as Harvard or Yale or Princeton, but which of Harvard or Yale or Princeton? Was it Yale? Thing? No. Princeton? Yes, it was Princeton. Oh. Let me ask you one thing. Now that uh, uh, your, your erstwhile roommate is up for election, are you, are you going to vote for him? Well, that's a, that's a hard question to ask me. I, uh, <laughs> I congratulated him when he was nominated and said that I had voted the Republican ticket for 30 years, but it looked as if I might have to change my vote this time. That might is a case you were. Thank you, Mr. Ward. Thank, Thank you. you. And now, please, may we have our second contestant of the evening. Will you come in, madam? <laughs> Fine, now, would you tell us your name and where you're from, please? I'm Mrs. Lander from Brooklyn, New York. Mrs. Lander from Brooklyn. All right, you have a secret for our panel to uncover, right? Okay. Now, panel, remember how we play twice around the panel and the game is lost? So, Mrs. Lander, you remind me of your secret. We'll show it to the folks at home. Shouldn't have. 
<laughs> well, classify this secret panel. I will tell you that it begins with the word I, and it is something that Mrs. Lander got. got? All right, we're set to go. Let's start off the cross-examination with Bill Cullen. Before I start, Gary, and don't count me on this, I just thought of a great secret for Mr. Ward. Uh, he told about the last 20 years. His secret could have been that for the last 20 years, he was that Republican. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, uh, this thing that you got, Miss Lander, uh, did you get it for a special occasion like Christmas or something like that? <laughs> Is it the kind of a thing that uh, a fellow would give to a girl? Well, we would have to say that, yes, a fellow could give this to a girl. Well, now, for uh, assuming, not assuming, we are at this time strangers, uh, would it be nice if I were to give this to you? <laughs> then I assume it's something that Fairly intimate. Uh, <laughs> fairly intimate. Thing. Yeah, I, I yeah. Uh, could well, I, if I would have gotten it from perfect strangers, I'm sure. Uh, well, if I wanted to give this to you, could I get it in a department store? <laughs> None that I know of. No. Could I get it in a lingerie store? <laughs> Did you get it in a lingerie yeah. lingerie store? Well, you, uh, actually, you could get it in a department store, and you could get it in a lingerie store, too, or the lingerie department of a department store. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Uh, <laughs> this thing, this thing that I can get in a lingerie store is... Uh, that's not the attack I wanted. Uh, does it uh, have straps? <laughs> uh, it doesn't have straps, Mr. Cullen. Strapless? <laughs> and I wish I were dead along about now, too. That's all I could. Wish I'm gonna blow the horn or the buzzer. Um, if it's stuck. <laughs> Thank you. Nothing like asking for it, is it? Ten dollars down, seventy dollars to go, Miss Jane Meadows. Mrs. Lander, this thing that you got, is it an inanimate object? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. It is no. Is it an object? <laughs> it's something. Big help, Gary. Would it help me to know anything about the person that you got this from? No. No. <laughs> it wouldn't. Would it help me to know anything about the time? Did you get it recently? No. You didn't. Did you get it when you were a child? Not quite a child. When you were in school age? No. After school? After school. And it's not an object. Would it be something that you got from a person? In the way of touch, for instance, like an embrace or a slap. Oh, in that or... sense, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Is it? Wow. All right. There's twenty dollars <laughs> down, sixty dollars to go, Mr. Melville Cooper. Uh, this uh, thing you got uh, is animal. <laughs> well, it ain't vegetable and it ain't mineral. Uh... But is it animal? I guess it has to be. Yes. Alive. <laughs> See, this is when I wish I'd gone to school. Uh, I don't think that you could say it was alive, although I'm sure I will find out after the program it. I look it up that it is. You keep on saying it. It's something it. It's something you had. Something you had. Something she got. Something you got. Do you, do you still have it? Do hmm? you still have it? I hope not. <laughs> Thirty dollars down, fifty dollars to go, Mr. Rain Day. With this uh, something that you got, <laughs> uh, Mrs. Lander, would it be a germ of some kind? Yes. Would it be a contagious disease? Yes. Well, the fact that you got this after you were out of school, is it a childhood disease? Yes. Uh, would it be mumps? Nope. Chicken pox? Nope. Measles? Measles it is. <laughs> All right. Now, now we have to know the special circumstances under which Mrs. Lander got the measles. Oh, there are circumstances. Mm. Uh, does it mean where or how? Well, closer or when, to where. Close where you got the measles? Yes. In this country? Is it a location like this? Well, it is, is not it a, a location, location you where, want? no. It is not a specific name of a, of a city. It's well, the circumstances. The circumstances under which she got the measles. And there is $40 down, $40 to go, panel. We're on our last time around, Bill Cullen. Did you get the measles during recess? <laughs> Did you get the measles during class? No. Uh, at kindergarten? Playing post office? 
No. I got the measles playing post office once. You lucky boy. Uh, did you get the measles from some particular person? No. No. Did you get the measles? Uh, how else can you get the measles? Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, I suppose she got it from some person, but I doubt if the person was very particular. At this point. Did you get the measles? No. Uh, did you get the measles in kindergarten? No. 1B? 1A? 2B? We can Not stretch the B. program for quite a ways. I have an idea that Jane Meadows has an idea. $50 down and $30 to go. Mrs. Jane? Lander, you didn't by any chance get the measles on your honeymoon, did you? Yes, girl has suffered. Oh. <laughs> down. Thank you very, very much. Awfully nice to have had you with us. <laughs> Poor girl. Now it is time for us to have our panel go to work on tonight's special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, with a great deal of affection, we present the distinguished star of stage and screen, Miss Zezu Pitts. so pretty. Now it is time, I mean it too, and I've always thought so. Now it's time to have our panel go to work uh, on uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Miss Pitts's uh, secret, but in just, uh, that'll be in just. All right, now panel, let's see how quickly you can expose Miss Pitts's secret. We will play the game as before, except of course, in this case, the money will go to Miss Pitts' favorite charity. Now will you tell me your secret, please? Whisper it to me. We'll show it to the folks at home. <laughs> How was it? Nice. <laughs> I can hardly wait to hear. All right, panel, I will tell you that this secret is something that happened to Miss Pitts, and it begins with a famous name. We'll start the cross-examination with Melville Cooper. Famous name, is that it? Uh, famous name, uh, still alive? No. No. Was this famous name uh, connected in our profession, otherwise motion picture? Yes. Oh, male? Male. Male, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, did this famous person uh, do something to you in some way? Nice, but didn't do anything to me, did he? Well, yes. In a, in a <laughs> well, uh, I think it's funny to say he did something for her, I suppose. For, oh, yeah. yeah he was alive at the time, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This uh, famous person who did something to uh, was it a question of uh, did he? Oh, well, I say he. Well, it was, it was a man. Yes, we have we've got that. Was it? It was a yes, man. It, yeah, yeah. it was a man. Well, did it? Uh, it was a man. Wasn't it? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Well, did he uh, uh, actually? Uh, uh, did it sort of uh, involve touching you in any way? Slightly. Slightly. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, this is slight oh. <laughs> well, this man was not all I heard that he was. Ten dollars down, seventy dollars to go, Miss Lorraine Day, please. Well, uh, would this man be a famous star like Rudolph Valentino? <laughs> well, uh, did, um, he was just like Rudolph Valentino. Is it Rudolph met. Valentino? Did Rudolph Valentino kiss you? But you weren't that, you weren't born then, was you? <laughs> <laughs> did he kiss you? No. He didn't kiss you. No. Did he, uh, embrace you? Oh, slightly. Slightly? Is that part of the secret that, uh... Yes. Rudolph, and I must guess, the slight kind of embrace? Yes. <laughs> the nature of the embrace, the I The nature would... of the embrace. What is... Yes. The nature of the embrace, I suppose. Would that be fair to say yes, I suppose? Yes. Well, suppose by nature yes of the no. embrace, yes. you mean, uh, sisterly or brotherly or passionately or friendly or what? <laughs> Well, I, there, there were 12 different definitions Not there. Not passionately, just yeah. touch me. <laughs> it's a long time to feel so badly about it. $20 down, $60 to go, Mr. Bill Cullen. Were you in accord with what he was doing, Miss Pitts? I mean, was it all right with you? I loved it. <laughs> was it... Was it done in the, in the regular course of events? I mean, like, was it an embrace for the sake of an embrace, or was there a motive or purpose? I don't mean it that way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to go back 
true. Uh, yes, please do. Was there something that he was trying, something that's perfectly all right that he was trying to accomplish? In this? It was perfectly all right, and we accomplished it. <laughs> Mr. Cullen, yeah. all over you. Was, uh, was this thing, uh, was he trying to help you in any way? Was he trying to uh, in instruct you? Or, uh... Mm. Mm. <laughs> he was giving you embracing lessons? <laughs> it was $30 down to $50 to go Miss Jane Meadows. Miss Pitt, did this happen in the playing of a scene? No. Were you acting? This no. was not during the no. making of a motion picture? Just for pleasure. <laughs> Did it happen at a party? No. Did it happen in a studio? No. Did it happen in your house? No. <laughs> Did it happen out of doors? No. In a tent? Did it happen <laughs> accidentally? It certainly did not. <laughs> There goes the budget. It's $40 down, $40 to go. Melville Cooper. This didn't happen in a house, out of doors, inside. It inside. just happened. Inside. 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 Inside where? Uh, inside a building? In a side a particular of the... building? Yes. Like a church? Oh, well, not like a church, but it was... like a church. I mean, what I mean when I, when I say that, I don't really mean that at all. You know what it was. Uh, in a building. In a building. In a building. Uh, in a, building. Uh, in a, bu a large A large building. building. That uh, helped him, didn't like, it? Uh, sure did. Like a movie house? <laughs> no. Not a, wasn't the building of entertainment? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It happened in... Uh, oh. It was in a building dedicated to entertainment. $50 down, $30 to go. Miss Lorraine Day. Uh, Miss Pitts, uh, did Rudolph Valentino teach you to dance? What? find out from you the peculiar circumstances under which this happened. I mean, this is too good a story. Now, how did it happen that Rudolph Valentino taught you to dance? Well, I was making a picture down at Balboa Beach near Los Angeles, and he was going around with the young lady that was a little on the heavy side. <laughs> and I didn't weigh so much, and he just said he'd rather dance with me. And I didn't know how then, and I just followed, and... He uh, taught me how to dance. Well, you don't weigh very much no uh, now. What did you weigh then? Well, you must have weighed around... Thank you. That was mighty nice of you. <laughs> well, I would say... As I weighed get... about 105 then. And I was very young. I was in my teens. Well, listen, That's tell me... possible, you know. <laughs> Tell me one thing, was Rudolph Valentino off the screen uh, the quite romantic, dashing man that he was uh, pictured to be? Yes, but he liked garlic. <laughs> well, on this note, I think we'd better just say thank you very, very much to the makers of our Zazu Pits. It has been just great. We're proud to have you. All right, now that's about all the time we have for our guests and for their secrets tonight. In just a moment, I will tell you about the famous celebrity who will be third degreed by our panel on next Now, next week at the same time, my friends, our panel will endeavor to uncover the secret that is being held by one of our favorite people, Mr. Sam Levinson. And there will be other interesting people to challenge our experts with their secrets, too. Until that time, may I say goodnight to our delightful panel, Mr. Bill Cullen, Miss Jane Meadows, Mr. Melville Cooper, and Miss Lorraine Day. And so until next week... saying bye-bye for all of us. Be very kind to each other, will you? And goodbye out there. Tonight, I've got a secret to what you are going to make us a parent. Bring the other one. Tune in again next week when I've got a secret to be brought to you by Tom, home permanent, and white rain motion.